Today I'm going to show you what we've been working on for the last three years. The system is called Walla, and it's a peer-to-peer -peer online storage. Since it's a rather big project, I, just, uh, I decided that I want to show you the big picture by showing you the overview of different challenges that we had to overcome. The overarching goal of what we're trying to do here is to build a large, reliable, and secure distributed online storage that can harness the idle resources of participating computers. Now, that's not a new idea, but in fact, it has been an old dream of computer science. Tonnenbaum once wrote in his book on distributed operating systems that the design of a worldwide, fully transparent, distributed file system for simultaneous use by millions of mobile and frequently disconnected users is left as an exercise for the reader. So what can you do with Walla? You can upload any file in any size, and then you can access these files from anywhere else. You can share files with friends and groups. So for instance, you could just share some images or videos with selected friends and then nobody else has access to them. Or you could publish files to the whole world. Uh, Walla is a free and simple desktop application which runs on Windows and Macintosh and soon also Linux. It's based on Java, so porting it to a different operating system is fairly easy. When you start, you start with one gigabyte of storage, which is provided by us. But if you want more, you can trade local disk space to get additional online storage. So in a sense, it's an online storage with the power of peer-to-peer, -peer, which means that you get fast downloads, there, there is no file size limit, and there is no traffic limit, and there are a number of other advantages which really directly come as a result of the underlying peer-to-peer -peer technology. One thing which is really important to us is privacy. All the files that you store in Walla are encrypted on your computer. Your password never leaves your computer, which means that no one, not even we as the provider, can see what files you store or share with your friends. I just want to show you some screenshots so that you have a picture of the, the application. The yellow folders are private so that only you have access to them. The red folders are shared. Uh, for instance, sharing them with three friends, or and then the blue folders are published so that everybody has access to them. 